Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna to do a quick video on why you shouldn't ignore a coolant loss, okay? In this particular incident, if you're losing coolant and you can't see where it's going, uh, but you're having to keep adding coolant in, it's not safe, okay? Especially if you see oil level rising, you don't wanna keep adding coolant in, you wanna shut the truck off immediately. Okay guys, so I hope you guys learned something from this video. And make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed to us yet and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. If you got any questions or concerns about your truck, please leave it in the comments below. Let's get right into this video. Okay, so this is the head now uh, after we pulled it. As I mentioned, what we were what we were noticing in is there was tons of coolant coming out of the intake side. It was just flowing right out. So we pulled the intake manifold off, and we originally thought that the items that we found in the in the intake ports, like you can see this item in there on the intake port, we originally thought that those were actually the valves that were bent. Um, you can see this one there, it's a good shot of that. Uh, it's a pretty much blocked the whole intake port there. Uh, but as we inspect the bottom of the, of the head here, uh, you can still see that the valves are actually still intact. So it's not the valves, uh, and you can see destruction on this cylinder here on cylinder number two. Look at the destruction on that cylinder. Uh, it's just completely broken. Uh, this valve is missing here. Uh, but it's not, this, this piece that we found on the intake is basically what the customer explained to us as a block off or his EGR valve. Uh, this is, it looks like this is what failed. Um, we're not sure if this is what caused the coolant to start going into the cylinder, but what we believe is on cylinder number two, the cylinder was finally filled with oil, I'm sorry, with coolant, and it actually hydro locked and I'm about to show you what the what this liner looks like. So let me move over to the liner. Okay, so we're on top of the engine now. I'm gonna show you uh, inside the cylinder, uh, especially cylinder number two. Let's get it down into this cylinder. Uh, of course, there's the missing valve there at the bottom of the cylinder. There's the, another piece of the head right there. And if you look at the cylinder walls, you can see that they're fractured on both sides. Uh, the cylinder wall this is just major major destruction uh, major destruction down in this area here so uh, there's the rest of them but number two is pretty much the worst another item I'd like to highlight here uh, let me step down here if you take a look at this coolant bottle here you can see the discoloration on the coolant bottle now that's the first indication that you have something going on, uh, especially if you have dark indication like that. Uh, if you're not losing oil, your oil is rising. Uh, this is indication that you have uh, combustion gas going into the, into the cooling system. Uh, so keep an eye on this. This is another reason why you don't want to keep pushing these trucks if you're losing coolant. Okay guys, so again, I just wanted to do a quick video on why it's not safe to ignore coolant leaks, especially ones that are not uh, visible or not looking to be external. So don't keep adding coolant. Make sure to shut the engine down, especially if your oil level is rising. So I hope this, this video helped you guys. If you got any questions or concerns about your truck, make sure to leave us a comment below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, subscribe to us and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. So until next time guys, be safe. That's what the love of money does.